welcome to my channel where we travel, educate, and create. Not hard. Um, it doesn't take a lot of time and it's a quick and easy skill to have. So if you're interested to turn, please watch more. So this is the Let's Get Active mini set from my online clothing store, The Diamond Boutique. If you like this piece, send me a message and I can let you know how you can wholesale this outfit. Um, I do have wholesale options and pieces available, but that is a separate conversation. So the first thing you need to do is go ahead and buy a balloon pump. Um, you can get this from Party City. You get this from Amazon or any party store. I believe on Amazon, you can get it for about $14 with no additional set. Um, if you do want to buy a whole kit, you can find like a big, nice kit for 20 bucks. But from here, I'm going to be showing you how to make a balloon garland. So next, you want to go on Amazon and buy you a balloon garland kit. So this one I got for about $10. Um, I believe it's about 150 pieces. When you want to buy um, a balloon garland, there are several things that you want to pay attention to um, that I will detail in another video. So um, with your balloon garland, you typically get your uh, balloons, of course. You get glue dots, and then you also get a balloon strip because balloon garlands originated as a strip. There is another video I made about the different ways that you can tie and create your balloon garland as a whole. These are two things that you can use. You can either do the strip, uh, the strip method, which is this. You can tie it together with string, or you're going to do my favorite method, which I highlighted in the previous video, is when you tie it together by hand. So this is just something that I do um, to help me. I separate everything by size and color. Uh, this is just something that I personally do because I'm a visual person. It helps me visualize everything. Um, when you do order these kits, they send you um, like a little, well, they don't send you. In the description, it tells you the size and colors that you get, but I need to see it. So basically, this is showing me I have one, two, three, four, five color balloons um, that are all the same size. I'm going to guess and say that these are all tens. And then I have uh, three color day, quarter, uh, color day. Coordinate clash, and it shows me that I don't have any small balloons for this metallic color. And then most importantly, it shows me that I only have two big 18 inch balloons. So I usually like to have two of each in every color. So knowing this now lets me know that I have to be very strategic in when I structure these. But okay, so the first thing you want to do is start um, building your balloon garland. So with that, you want to make something called a dupe. A dupe is nothing but two balloons tied together. So I'm going to have this facing you guys. So. When you get this, you're going to get two attachments that come here. Um, I actually took mine out because they keep falling off and I didn't want to lose one. Um, I keep mine on the off. I'm not getting up. Sorry, y'all. So you have this here. Um, it comes on just like turn it on. When you turn it on, it's a continuous uh, stream of air. And it's really noisy. And it's also unnecessary based on the simple fact that you're going to get um, one pump that you press and it pushes the air out. Now, when you push this down, it automatically pushes air out in the second one. So, to save time, we're actually going to go ahead and start our timer right now. Um, I did not include that in my timer because that's just something I do for me. Um, you don't have to do it at all. That's just something I use when I feel like I am completely freestyling. So, guys, my dime dolls, my dime pieces out there. <laughs> you're going to take um, both of these and you're going to put them on the nozzle. You're going to push down on the only one that you can push down. I know that sounds self-explanatory, but you just say it anyway. Grasp them firmly. Push down just a little bit. And you're going to get your gust of air. So these look like they're about 10 inch balloons. I don't really like 10 inch balloons. Um, I like 12 to get a little bit more depth. But it's okay. There's a way that you can still add a little bit of variety. So for this one, um, whenever you put air in your balloons, you just want to kind of push on them just a little bit to round them out so you get that bubble look. You're going to take them and tie them together in a knot. I'm not doing no tricks or nothing. I'm tying it in a knot. And again, while I say um, this is something that I bought from Amazon, um, usually when you buy your balloons, you don't want to have this dimple right here. Um, that's usually how I can see some balloons from afar and be like, they ain't spending no money on them. So uh, when you do, let's say if you want to make this uh, a little bit more than a hobby, or if you want to just you know, really take a little bit more pride in your craft, there will be another video I'll upload on different type of balloons that you can buy. But this is something you want to pay attention to. You don't want no nipples showing, okay? So <clears throat> this right here is our dupe. So we're just going to go ahead and make another dupe like so. Again, pushing the excess air out. We're rounding them out. You want your balloons to be nice and round, okay? Now you have one dupe, two dupes. When you put them together, it's going to make a quad. So, and if you see my hands are ashy, that comes with the job, literally. This latex gets everywhere. So what you're going to do is you're going to just push them together and marry them. And just twist them around a bit more. So, when you put your two dupes to 
together, you now have a quad, okay? Quad also means four. I don't know if you know like Greek. Like, so all you're gonna do now is just make a whole bunch of quads in all the colors. So I, the issue that I was having with this garden was it looks like they send me all balloons in the same size, but that's fine. So we go, sorry, it's really hard to talk to you guys and inflate at the same time. When you go to inflate your balloons and you go to let that air out, just let a little bit more out. And now you have a whole different size balloon. So this will probably be like a um, like a seven, eight inch balloon. But doing that at depth. So again, I'm just I'm just freestyling it. I, I'm not I'm not um measuring anything, y'all. I'm eyeballing it. I'm letting the ancestors guide me and show me what's good. Show me how to do it again. We're gonna see how this garland turns out. So with that small change, uh, it's just a little little something to, to add some variety. But here I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward. But I'm gonna give you a gem, okay? If you're one of those people who needs to watch the video in its entirety to the point that you're like, I wanna know the part that they cut out because I need to learn. I'm one of those people. Anything that I can see, I can recreate. If I cannot see it, I cannot recreate it. So as I fast forward this video, this is a very, this is a very first YouTube video. No, it is so. I'm pointing here, then I'm wrong. I'm pointing here, then I'm wrong. I don't know. You know. Find the settings icon. Find the settings icon. When you find that settings icon, there's going to be something that says playback speed. I want you to take that playback speed and take it down to 0 0.5 and below. When you do that, it's going to take down the speed of the video so that you can watch me do everything in real time. <laughs> right here is you guys see how this balloon looks you don't want no balloon looking like a, a bowl of king like this okay you don't want no professor egg head looking balloon that's what happens when you don't push and let the extra air out y'all that's got a round it of some sort you have to pick your poison either you can blow them both up at the same time and push them down or you can blow them up one at a time and, and cut them basically if you hold it it forms that circular look for you. I got it all circular already. So you would just hold that. And push down uh, while you're going on another one. Hope that makes sense. of your balloon you don't want no balloons you can see through okay that is an indication that your balloons are cheap but like i said this is just something that we're going to do for practice it doesn't matter um when i use my practice emma my practice balloon garland kits from amazon um i usually stay away from really dark colors for this reason um, usually when you get the dark colors um uh, you're not really supposed to see through them. If you do see through them, um, it might be uh, that you have too much air in it. But again, this is a cheap balloon, so you don't see through it. Um, a way to combat this issue, though, if you do have cheap balloons or just a see-through balloon, is you double stuff it. Um, and that is something, again, that you can watch in my channel that I'm going to link uh, below. But again, it's just a practice for moving on. <laughs> So um, here is what I was saying when you get those metallic uh, type of balloons. Um, again, you should not be able to see through them. So even though I said that color balloon was cheap, this one is pretty decent because I cannot see through it. Now, um, some indicators that your balloon isn't cheap and it's overinflated is when you have a metallic balloon that you can see through. Um, sometimes if you can see through it, the quick fix is to just let some of the air out because you're overexpanding it. <laughs>
I'm just gonna highlight how you blow up your eighteen-inch balloon. So that's when I said, um, well, my technique is I hold it at the base, I wrap my hands around this part, and then I cut the. Way. So what you can't really see. As it's blowing up, I was holding it and actually pushing the air out, but um, this will get overplayed or something like that. Like one. Some people um, do not tie theirs and immediately, you know, um, blow up their second one and tie it together. But these ones right here can be a little bit tricky. And um, all of your balloons, pretty much, if they're going to deflate, they deflate within the first hour, except for this one. This one, you might have, uh, it might not be tied tight enough, and, uh, it might not be tied tight enough and deflate slowly throughout the night. Now, me, I do not do disposal. Okay, again, um, I try to make this process as quick and easy. And if this is something that you're doing as a side hustle, this is something you want to make quick and easy. You can charge money for disposals. This, you can charge a disposal fee and come back and bust all the balloons down and, and leave. Or you can do like me and just don't charge a fee and it's on your uh, client to dispose of the balloons. But if you take that route, you will not be there to see that your balloon is deflated and um, that might impact your business negatively. So, like I said, the best thing to do is just to tie it separately. Um, <laughs> Your second balloon, and I usually just wrap them around each other and tie them just like I would uh, the other one. So, usually, I blow these ones up first. I don't know why I didn't do it, but I blow them up first just to uh, make sure that this dupe has another dupe so that we have a quad. Um, and just to make sure that they're not even natural. So, this is the last ass color. I'm kind of just these do five inches again. I do not recommend. Um, I do not recommend wearing artificial nails. Uh, if you really, 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 really gotta get your nails did, again, look on Amazon and get you some press ons. That goes into my educate and save. Uh, I will be doing a video telling you all how I save, how I saved uh, 15k in a year to buy a car. And one of the things I cut out was getting my nails done. Um, ever since then, I haven't really been big on getting my nails done. And now we are at the uh, 25 minute mark. Um, usually it would take me 20 minutes to blow all of my balloons up, but you also have to stop and think like, I'm actually recording a video. I'm trying to take time to make sure I look pleasant, to make sure that um, I break everything down, all the other good jazz. When you're starting out, it probably take you anywhere between 30 to 45 minutes to blow all of your balloons up. When I say all of them, I'm including your five inches. Um, I'm gonna speed through the five inch balloon part, but again, like I said, that's your indicator to use your settings to slow the video down if you actually wanna sit back and watch me do it. With your balloon pump, you're gonna get two of these, um, which are usually housed right here. Um, I, so what you do is you just screw them into both. Um, and just like before, you're gonna place it right on top and this is easier to cut. So I'm gonna show you how to cut them. So sometimes you might encounter this uh, problem right here. It finally blew up, but you see it took a couple tries and. You, so whenever you're trying to blow up your balloon and you don't have any air, take your finger and just cover the un, uh, the other hole. So you probably didn't see me having this issue before because both holes were covered. This time it's not. Take my finger. For this only just just cover. <laughs> so um, this is a decent size for your uh, your five inches. Some people try to go a little bit below. This is the smallest I would go. This is the fair place. <laughs> So just like you did your other ones, and um, blowing both up, tie them both together, and just like before, you are going to make your quads. Um, the only difference is with these, you can get away with making a tray, which is three balloons together. So I already got my two balloons tied together. Another way to check your balloons for holes, you might have seen me doing this with different ones, is to just be quiet and put it to your ear. You're going to hear it. You're going to know immediately. If you're hold it under. Um, the only other way that you'll get a hole later is if you're, like I said, wearing those fingernails and you poke a hole, which is um, it's kind of hard to do. So. Balloons are very durable, so probably not the biggest mistake. The number one mistake I see everybody make when they're making their balloon garlands is being scared of the balloon. We're going to talk about it as we put it together. Um, but yes! We are done! At this point, we have inflated all of our balloons, and now we're going to go ahead and make our garland. So I know somebody's probably sitting there like, oh my God, I don't know how to put it together. What order should I use? 
Again, this your side hustle. It's not supposed to be making you think too hard. You ain't supposed to be hurting your, your brain thinking of all these new ideas. You're not going to reinvent the wheel. What you're going to do, just like you went on Amazon and ordered this balloon garden, you're going to go back to Amazon. You're going to look at the reviews and see what other people did. If there are no reviews there, look at the picture. The picture is going to tell you exactly how to put the balloon garden together. Okay? So what I'm going to do is... I'm going to go on Amazon. I'm going to pull up the picture. I'm going to show you guys, and we're going to make it together. All right, y'all. So this is the balloon garland that I purchased, okay? So I'm looking at it, and I'm trying to figure out. I'm trying to figure out, okay, wow, how do I put it together? So just by looking at it, it looks like they have a gold base in the front, and they got those little cheap-looking balloons over to the side, and then they have those um, nice metallic balloons over to the other side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with my uh, gold base, and then I'm going to add these other other ones to the side. So I'm going to just show y'all how to do it. So right now we just want to keep in mind that the color scheme looks like gold, lavender, gold, and the purples. Again, gold, lavender, gold, purples. When you are uh, making your balloon garlands, as you're blowing up your balloons, you want to make sure you keep a nice neck. Now when I say a nice neck, this is what I'm talking about. Something just like that. Because, um, again, there are multiple ways to tie your balloon garland. Again, that's something that I've already outlined in a previous video. I'm going to link it below if you want to watch it. Um, you're going to pick up one of your quads or your clusters and find the longest neck in there, right? So I got one in this hand. Take your other hand. Find your other quad that you're going to use and find another neck. You're going to take them together and you're going to tie them. So you're going to take both necks here and you're just going to tie them together as tightly as possible. Just like you tie all of the rest of your balloons. Yay, yay. It's kind of hard to see without my flash, but you should see it there. Okay, so now you should have your two um, quads together to make your cluster to make your balloon garland. So when I do my color blocking, color blocking is essentially doing um, your balloon's color block. So this is a block. This would be another block of colors, blah, 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 blah. I do minimum two blocks or two uh, quads together. So I'm just gonna go and grab another lavender quad. Grab another long neck and another neck from here and just go ahead and tie it together. So you see that I'm wearing active wear right now. I usually try to keep on something light and breezy because I don't know around this part, I get a little hot. So I'm going to grab another gold quad. And one thing you will notice, I love these metallic balloons because they're easier to inflate and then they're just easier to tie. I don't know what it is, but the texture of them is easier to stretch. I have no problem tying together my uh, metallic balloons with the rest of them. You give me a run for my money. So, I got my structure built out pretty nicely. And I'm just going to go ahead and add in another um, cluster of this. And a trick that I learned when it comes to tying balloons to keep from stressing yourself out is um, most of the effort should come from pulling from the bottom instead of pulling from the top. So you kind of just want to gently put your balloons on the floor. I'm not putting any weight on it, but I have my arm here and it's keeping the balloons on the ground and it's stretching the neck up. From there, all I have to do is marry it with the other one and tie it together. Um, as you create bigger, like eight foot garlands, um, that's going to become um, a friend of yours because like I said, pulling the top and pulling from the bottom, it can be a job. So right now, this is what we have. I'm going to set it here, and I'm going to just look at our picture for reference again to see what we're going to do with the top. It looks like there is a, that darker purple at the top, and then we got the cheap purple balloons again. Some people, um, I'm not a fan of this way, but there's nothing wrong with it. You can take your two quads and just marry them that way. So kind of like you did when you made your quads and your duplets. You can put them together like so. You just want to make sure you're turning all your balloons around to make sure they're interlocked. Then you want to find your neck. The longest neck in there. And 
this is important when you're making like your main garland structure. So this right here would be my main garland structure. You see this line right here? You kind of want to keep keep it straight. Now, when we get to expanding to the sides, that's when you get to pull it from the other areas. But right now, you want to keep this. I call it the spine. You want to keep your spine in mind. Okay, so here I am applying the pressure and pulling. Now, I mentioned that this was my favorite way of making my balloon grounds for a reason. You see how this is one structure? It's not flimsy either. Okay, and that is important. You want something that's just like this. You see how I'm moving this all around? It ain't breaking. It, it's, it's all in one. It's all in one. So you want to think about your weave. When people like, stick where? Okay, y'all want your balloons doing that. Am I here greasy? So sorry, y'all want here doing that. You want your balloons to be like, just like this. Where we going? Another thing. So me, I'm a woman. Sometimes I'm working outdoors. Sometimes I'm the first person there. Sometimes I'm the last person there. You can't take your balloons and boot somebody with them. Your structure not strong enough, okay? You should be able to bop them and go. By the time the balloons hit them, you out of sight. You say hey, the most effective way to tie your balloons, to make your balloon garlands, is to tie them neck to neck. Not with the string, not with the fishing line, not with the garlic strip. Neck to neck. Again, when you tie them neck to neck, you see how you see how giving it is. I can flip them all around. I can do whatever I want with them, any kind of way. I'm gonna go ahead and take our um, take our light balloons, our little seeping boys, tie them together. <laughs> I'm 5'2", and it is about my height, okay? So, most gar uh, backdrops that people buy are 6 to 7 feet. Um, This is about 9 feet high. So, it's usually, like, right here-ish, okay? So, when I get to this point, that's when I want to start expanding to the side. So, like we seen in that picture, it was gold, light, gold. And then, since I'm a visualizer, I see it, and I can start uh conceptualizing to shake my my balloons um over. And then, also, like, this is not a good base. So the base of your balloons is like the most important. And since I don't really like these purple ones, I can use that as my base. So that's another good thing. If ever you have like a color or something that you're not a fan of, use it as a base or use it as a back. So what I'm going to do is I see my main spine. I'm going to look at that main spine and look over at one of the uh, garlic, uh, one of the necks that's not a part of it. So I'm just going to grab one of the necks and you see how I just lay down together. Everybody moving together on one accord. Your balloons is like a team on one accord. Nobody sideline and back door, wiggling left, wiggling right, one accord. All down together, down the line. My people, and I'm gonna stand them back up together on one accord. So, um, they're called organic balloon gardens because you can pretty much play with them and shape them any kind of way that you want to. So, how I just took this from being the bottom to now making it a shared bottom is interesting, right? I can also go like this and boom. Back to where it was. I'm still deciding the plate on this. So then I remember we had that on the side. Again, I'm just um, tying this in. There are other ways. Don't embarrass me in front of my channel balloons. Come on out. We're doing so well. This is a perfect time. Because the next one, every. So if ever you get like, um, you're pulling on the neck and you feel it breaking. You'll know what I mean, like you'll feel it tearing. Another alternative is to just tie your um, extra cluster in. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these two necks and I'm gonna tie it around the spine so that I can add it all in there because this other way is just not quite working. A key secret to saving time in this industry, you blow your balloons up at home, you put them in your king size, mattress bag put them in your car and take them to the client's location from there that's where you'll actually tie all of the balloons together and create the garland for me personally i only transport my balloons in um dupes and not quite quads because it reduces the uh, chance of them popping i do not have a box truck i do not have a large suv i drive seats down and i'm able to fit um anywhere between 200 to 250 balloons in my balloon bag there can i see out my back window you ask them too many questions all right, y'all. So when I started this video, um, it was my intention that we were gonna go through this whole garden together. But I'm gonna be honest. One, my phone died. Two, my sister called to pick me up, and we got drunk. She know I don't have no willpower. Okay, anybody, but anybody watching this, don't ask me to go out because I'm gonna say yes. I'm gonna say yes every time. I'm gonna find me some money. I'm gonna find me some clothes. I'm gonna do something with my hair. I'm gonna go. But it is currently um six o'clock in the morning. I have not been to sleep. Um, I got home. I feel real good. I uh, put the rest of the balloon garden together a little bit, and then I start reading a book, y'all. I'm such a nerd. I haven't read a book in a good minute. Um, but this book wasn't like a storytelling book. It was more so just like a 
don't even know how to describe it. It was a good ass book. Um, I was reading that book from 11 p.m. to about 4 o'clock this morning. Um, we've already put together our balloon garland again. Like I said, I just followed the picture um, from Amazon. Okay, so I went ahead and brought this in because um, usually, you know, when you're doing a balloon garland, you're either doing it on like a backdrop or you're putting it up against the wall. But um, instead of doing that, I'm just going to put it next to this uh, just so you guys can see a bit uh, how tall it is or the different things that you might be able to offer your price. This is my alarm telling me to wake up. Baby, I ain't going to sleep. Um, anyway, try not to touch your face uh, when you're dealing with these latex balloons. Um, sometimes you can get different reactions from it um, or just like wear gloves. Or what I usually do is after I blow all my balloons up, like I will wash my hands. And then um, after I arrange all my mini clusters, I will wash my hands again because there have been times where I have touched my face and it's been red and inflamed. So I'm going to touch your face. Back to where we were. So this is pretty tall. Um, and now we're going to attach our mini clusters. So what you're going to need is a 260 balloon. Um, a 260 balloon is like those little skinny balloons that they do to make the uh, balloon animals. So what I suggest is just going again on Amazon and ordering an assortment of multiple colors. So what I usually do is I try to match up my... Um, my 260 will whatever color balloons that I'm working with that day or you can play it even more simple and just get you a just buy them all clear okay so all I did was tie a regular knot boom so again do it one more time we're just making a knot and what I personally do is tie it to both ends so it's already tied on the one end. I'm just going to take it and tie the other end. There's no tips, tricks, no uh, none. But this is the quickest way to me to attach your um, your cluster. So another thing, when you're doing, if you're inflating indoors um, and you're transporting your balloons to your client, try to do it on a clean hardwood floor or something that's not carpeted. You're doing it on your carpet vacuum first. Take that five minutes and vacuum because every single piece of hair that's on your floor will be on your balloon. And you do not want to take your client no hairy balloon garlic. Okay? So anyway, to me, this is the best way to do it because you can later adjust. So simply, this is so now you're going to take it and all you have to do is simply clap it on in there. So typically your balloon garden will not be moving uh, when you do it. But you know, we're here. Just wrap it around something to make sure it doesn't move again and you're good. So I like this method um, because you can easily, like I can look at it and say, okay, I don't like that. And I can just keep moving it around as many times as I want to. So um, what I'm going to go ahead and do is just go and tie the uh, rest of the um, mini garlands off camera um, and just start playing with them. So I do have some um, clusters that I just left out because I want to add a little bit of volume to this garland. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and feed through that. Another way that you can add your mini clusters to your garlands is to take your 260 balloon, tie a knot within itself so you're kind of creating like a, a rubber band. Or you can literally go out to the Dollar Tree and pay your dollar twenty-five and get a bag of big rubber bands and just do that. So from there, um, I usually just kind of wrap a couple balloons in it to make sure it doesn't go anywhere. Pop that baby on there. Now I'm just going to take my clusters and just pop them in here um, and just play around and just try to fill it out a little bit. Um, look, uh, so right now to me it looks kind of bare. And then what I recommend is anywhere where you can kind of see like the spine of the uh, garland, you want to kind of go in and put your balloon uh, cluster there but it's also important to make sure that it's not only appealing from the front you want to make sure that it's appealing from the top and bottom because you know i'm short 
I can't see up there, but somebody else can. So you want to make sure it looks good. And then now we're also in like a drone age. Uh, so you don't know if it might be like a camera or something flying around. You want to make sure that your best quality of work is being caught uh, at all angles. Um, something that I also find is a good touch is when you, fin when you finish your garland, to just take your camera and just walk around with it because I don't know, it is really weird. So it might look good to your eye, but when you put it on camera, you're like, no, I don't like that. I gotta move. So quickly, I just wanna say like how I uh, recommended that you blow up your big balloons um, at home and transport them. Take your balloon pump with you. But I know I said just buy, buy a, a garland from Amazon. I usually buy two for this reason. So it's coming together nicely, but there are areas where I'm like, oh dang, I wanna add an extra balloon right here. Ain't got no more. If you have that extra garland, now you have that extra cushion to just add those key flavors or pops of color or whatever the hell, you, whatever the heck you want to do to uh, give it that, that extra mm, okay? So as you go from making this to hobby, to side hustle, to career, uh, or whatever you're doing, you want to graduate from the Amazon balloon garland to start getting your own balloons on here. take this like we were doing before and now you just gonna wrap it around okay so um how i had the other ones they were just um double ended this one is not it ain't no different it's actually a little bit easier because you don't have to worry about the other one so i'm just gonna take it pop it on in there again and wrap it around something this extra here just keep on wrapping it around Now, usually what I would do with something like this is if I have a backdrop stand, I would actually take this extra piece and maybe turn on there. Hey, balloons to put your balloon uh, clutches in because you can just flip it and do it all different types of ways. Um, I kind of wanted this gap to be closed um, and I don't have any balloons. So a quick solution would be to take the glue dots and just put them between the balloons and then they wouldn't move anymore. So we done. I'm, I'm done. Uh, your 18 inch balloons are supposed to be at the axis, okay? They're supposed to be like bubble bubble color. They ain't really supposed to be all big and buns like this. So in those no circumstances you have your big 18 inch balloon just sticking out on the side like that, okay? You don't want to do that. Especially since these are all three different colors. It just it's big and it's gaudy and that's just not what we want to do. So um usually if I do have one at the bottom, it might be four because I'm trying to create like a big strong base and it might be in the back. I'm gonna hold that around and then put it to the side. Just a little bit better. So again, I wish I had more balloons because here I might pop in a little cluster. See, I done got me started. It's 6 a.m. I'm amped up. I'm ready to blow some more balloons up to feel this out because I just can't have it looking like that. But I want to be the 